Gentlemen, in three years' time, when we launch this ship, the world will already know the story of her greatness. People's fascination with it should start now. My first task will be to test the tensile properties of the steel you use. You needn't concern yourself about the steel we use, Dr. Muir. It's of the best quality. Uh -huh. A head full of questions with no answers. That's what I love about you. You're a romantic. Or naive, you choose. Still in love, Jaime? <laughs> Institutions like this would not exist if good girls were not led astray into sin. I'm aware of my failings before God, but I'm here now because I've just learned the truth. Your life is built on my daughter's death. Be as free as your dream of the future would have you. Your presence here today is a show of strength. No longer will the rights of workers be ignored. The army, for God's sake! I need to know that you can deliver to me White Star ships. Belfast is problematic. After all, you can't fix a culture. The diplomatic situation is very tense. We wish to exploit this divide to our own advantage. We may need to call on you for a few favors. I've conducted examinations on the latest batch of steel plates, and I believe there are serious grounds for concern. How concerned should we be? Well, that depends on how much you're willing to gamble. You're incorrigible. I do hope so. You have no idea what this means to me. I wouldn't be in this bloody situation if it wasn't for you. You have a choice. No, I don't. Let the government in London know. Let even the king know. Let them know that if provoked, they will defend their homes, their hearts, their heritage. The South will rise. Rebellion is inevitable. Needless bloodshed for what will probably happen anyway. I don't want blood in my hands. I'm tired of the struggle. I want a life. The unsinkable ship. A stroke of genius. I said theoretically. I so hoped that our ship would be a symbol of what might have been achieved. A unifying force, that was my vision. You always quoting Brunel, an engineer who never compromised. Both you and I know that this ship is nowhere near as safe as his. In eight days' time, we will welcome the RMS Titanic to New York. And when you have seen her, hmm, write about her. As I see her at the quayside, I realize it is not just a ship that has backbone of steel but the people who built her. I'm glad we're sailing together. Me too. There's a bigger picture here. Bigger than the ships we build. <laughs>